in this video we will be discussing about website log analysis first what is log file so log file it is a uh, server maintaining file of the information about all the activities happened in that particular server right again website log means the a file which is maintained by the website server right so what are all the actions happen see for example whenever the user is requesting for a web page right so where the user is coming about the information about the user what is the ip address what time the request came whether the re- for that request the reply has been uh, sent successfully or not all this information will be stored in a log file in the web server right so now this log file has many different uh, formats right so in this video we will be discussing a short introduction about website log file and its types and then we will see uh, the sample report of the website log file in log file analyzer and then we will see how to analyze a log file using deep log file analysis okay now so here is a sample uh, screenshot of the website log file right so here you can see multiple entries over here so each and every line indicates a particular information that is particular request so in that request it it is collecting the information so few request has more information again few request has very limited information so in that particular request which are all the informations are available it will be collected so it is not that all the fields need uh, it should be present in a particular request okay so it is based on the request right so now this log file collection may be uh, differs from format to format there are many different formats for collecting or storing the log files so in that json format is there so w3c uh, world wide web consortium uh, extended format is there again uh, extended log file is there extended log file format is there and then current log file format is there like that many different formats are there to store this website log file right i mean here we will see one of the uh, format so in this format you can see uh, the information that is uh, the first field will be the ip address next field uh, will be the remote log username time stamp and then it goes on right so in this order the information it will be stored right so again each every field has the uh, particular size and then each and every field the space will be allocated if the data is not available then it will be mentioned as hyphen right so now each and every field the data will be separated by a space right so here you will see one example right so here uh, you can see uh, each and every color indicates the different data right so now the first field which is ip address right so it gives the information about the ip from which the request has been received okay and then the next field remote log name see here hyphen is there which means that that data is not available not available in the sense may not be not applicable for this request it is not that all the uh, data will be applicable see for example the next field username right so now whenever we are going to a website it is not mandatory you should log in to that website and then you should view the content there are few website you should log in and then only you will be seeing the content so in that case you are a authenticated user in that case you will be having a username right so in the first scenario just you are going to a website and then you are viewing the information in that case we are not an authenticated user in that case the username it won't be there so here it is indicating the hyphen again next is the time stamp then access request status code again the status code indicates whether the request has been processed successfully or not right again if the, you, if there is an error in processing so you may be uh, come across with this error like 404 505 right whatever it may be so if that error comes so here it will be stored in the server right so for this particular request so this error has been gated right and then bytes transferred so this is total number of byte transferred from the server to the client by this request again referrer url so referrer url in the sense so who is referring uh, your website to the web server right so in simple uh, if you want to uh, view christ university website 
right so if you are aware of the domain name that is www.christuniversity.in so directly we can type that in the address bar of the browser and then we can hit so that the request will be sent directly to the web server and then you can view the christ university page right again if you are uh, not knowing exactly the domain name right so how we will do we will go to any of the search engines we will be giving uh, the keywords let's say christ university if you give christ university the christ university web page uh, it will be uh, coming over there as a search result so we will be clicking one of the search result so now you will be navigating to christ university page right so in the first scenario there is no referrer whereas in the second scenario google is the referrer can you get my point now you are searching in google search engine google referring this domain name or this url by clicking that url you are visiting the page right so that is the referrer who is referring your page so that information it will be available in referrer url and then user agent so user agent in the sense that it is going to give the uh, information about the user so what browser the user is using what operating system what version right so this information it will be available in user agent right so this is one of the format of web log file right so now without further delay uh, we will see one format or a sample web log file right so here you can see uh, this is a sample log file report right so it is a default uh, sample report given from log analyzer right so log analyzer so now this log analyzer uh, it is having a sample log file right so here you can see the statistics of that particular file statistics of the whole file right so here you can see uh, total number of hits normal hit and then stolen object hits and then average hits per day right so hit in the sense whenever the request comes uh, reaching the web server so that is termed as hits again page view right so let me magnify it yeah so here you can see uh, these are all the general information you can see over here again total bandwidth right for that particular thing again here the informations uh, the information are available in different sub categories so here in log file analyzer you can see activity statistics resource access the advertising visitors demographic information right referral right so you can see uh, the log file which are inputting over here to the tool it will be extracting all the information at it is going to visualize the data under these categories right so let's say activity statistics right you can see the summary of the activity statistics so here you can see average number of visits per day right again here you can see daily report again here you can see also see the uh, let me zoom out it here you can see monthly wise report right see here you can see monthly uh, report for all the sub categories also right again here you can see browser and platforms right so here you can see these are all the browsers which has been used over here so the browser information okay so again uh, the same thing it can be analyzed as day wise data right so particular day uh, you can see the different things right so this is a sample report of uh, a web log file which is given in log analyzer.net right so now we will see how to analyze a log file using deep log analyzer right so before uh, dig deeper about uh, these things so you will see how to download and install a deep log analyzer right so now uh, you need to navigate to the url called www.deep_software.com uh, download now so don't worry this link it will be available in the description so you can take the link over there and then here you can uh, download the software that is deep log analyzer software since it is an enterprise software so here you can uh, download the um, trial version so you will be getting uh, trial version for 25 days right? so that you can practice this tool and then you can explore more so you need to down you can download the tool from here so the exe file will be downloaded right so once you have downloaded the exe file the next thing uh, we required is our log file right so here uh, in kaggle you can download the log file right so here uh, this link 
also available in the description you can download from this link or else uh, if you have the log file uh, you can give as an input over right so here you can uh, download the log file so it is of 3.5 gb right so once you click download it will be uh, downloaded as zip file right so you need to uh, extract the zip file right so i have already downloaded here here you can see access.log it is a zip file so you can right click it extract here so that it will be extracting the files right so once you extract you will be getting uh, the access.txt document so it is an log file right so it is a log file let me see the property of the file so here you can see the uh, information about the log file it is about 3.26 mb again here you can see dot log file right so now this is a file that we are going to analyze right so once uh, you have downloaded so click uh, the tool to install into your system just give the uh, uh, default information and then install it so in my case i have already installed right so here uh, let me show you creating a project so new project so once you click new project so here you will need to give the name for the project let's say i'm giving sample so here uh, give next so now we need to uh, give the input right so for this log file analyzer you can give two different types of inputs or you can give the input in two different ways so one is directly giving the log file right from your local system and then you can directly connect to the web server if you have the web server information so directly you can connect over here right to the so in our case we are having the downloaded file we are going to upload that file right so here i am clicking and then i am giving the file as an input over here so this is a file open so now uh, the file access file has been given as an input then for all the other configurations just give next right again here in this uh, configuration we need to give the url right so here uh, the url for this particular log file it won't be available right so what you can do you can give some dummy url for just namesake analysis so le let me give as sample dot in right so it is not going to affect anything just uh, give the url name it is going to replicate over there in the report right so actually it is not the report of this particular url right? so it is the report of some other uh, url which we have uh, downloaded from kaggle so here you can see uh, in depth about uh, where the uh, data has been downloaded right so this is uh, it is downloaded from the kaggle and then it is the information about some other uh, web servers right so here uh, we need to give the url name right for that we are giving www.sample.n right again uh, you no need to change any other settings over here just give uh, the default values and then give next next right again next right. so uh, then finally we need to give analyze now so once you give analyze now so here your project will be loaded so here is a warning for uh, since the data is more than 2 gb it is a warning coming so you can proceed so now here your log file it will be loaded right so once you click so here your log file will be loaded right so it takes some time for loading so let me close it and then open i have already opened the project so let me show from there so now here you can see the general statistics of the report of access file right so here you can see this is the general statistic the whole uh, information about the log file right so here you can see um, hit summary and then visitors summary so visitors summary number of visitors average number of visits per day average number of durations right so number of unique visitors repeated uh, visitors average right again these are all the informations are extracted from the log file again in log file the information is available right so that information has been collectively given here after fetching it from the log file is it clear so in the log file there is no information about total number of page views so there each and every individual page views are there 
this analyzer tool is fetching the information and then this giving over here right again this deep log analyzer analyzing under different categories see here so these are all the menu options which is available in deep log analyzer so you your information will be, will be categorized as accessed resources so in accessed resources you can see the information about the page so top page top page by visit uh, all accessed files right everything it will be come right again site navigation so if you want more information just you can click here and then the data it will be loaded here right again site navigation site navigation also if you want to see the popular path you can give in the new tab also the new tab the information it will be loaded right so here is a window where all the reports it will be loaded here right so you can explore more reports over here you can uh, export more reports about the particular log file with each and every options right every options which is given here so here the data it will be loaded so once the data has been loaded so everything it will be loaded see how it is loading in the sense see whenever uh, we are clicking this right whenever we are clicking this in back end the sql query has been um, loaded based on that query here the data it will be coming see here we have seen popular page path right paths through site see here this is a popular page path so this uh, path has been number of visitors is 9000 right so this is a table of information the same same table of information which is given here as a graph right again total path views also it will be loading here so like this the graph will be coming right so as i said earlier whenever you are choosing an option so here it will be loaded by the uh, sql query right so again apart from these menus right apart from these menus you want some other information should be uh, analyzed or you need some other information so here as an option called create a custom report right so when you create click a create a custom report so these are all the report list it will be there right so if you click any of this for that particular page so here you can see the sql query right so here see for this is exist exit page so here select star from top exit pages so so this is the sql query so if you want you can edit this query also again whenever you are editing this query you need to be aware of the table name and then the particular attribute name which is used over there so for that you can familiar uh, with this information see here depth of visit so for the depth of visit see here the sql query is there right so by this you can come to know what is the uh, uh, here the table name and then the attribute names which they have using by exploring all this you can see the comments over here and then you can edit the sql query and then you can create your custom report also right so this is how uh, you can analyze the log file uh, in depth in web log uh, deep log analyzer right so here uh, you can close the project and then you can open some other project also since it is a free version at a time you can uh, create three different projects in web log uh, deep log miner for 25 days of trial version again uh, if you want to more uh, projects to be loaded you need to delete the existing projects right so with this we come to an end thank you